Colossians 1 verse 26. The word of God says, The secret which has been kept from all times and generations, it says, but has now been made clear to his saints. It says those secrets have now been made clear to you, dear child of God. Whatever thing that may have been kept from you, whatever secret that may have been kept from you, God will cause you to know them today. God will give you that understanding. It will give you that ability that everything you need to know, you will know them. God who unravels things, dear child of God, would unravel everything that you need to know. Be it some plot, God will make them known unto you. He says the secret which have been kept from all times and generations. He says, but has now been made clear to his saints. Dear child of God, there are some things you do not understand in life. There are some things that you have experienced in life that you did not understand. Today, God will make them clear to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you are going through some certain things in life and you don't know why you are going through them. God will give you clarity today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, you may have been afflicted and you don't know why you have been afflicted. You have been asking questions upon questions, but nobody seemed to be answering you. Today, God will make them known to you. God will give you clarity, dear child of God. God will give you enlightenment and you will know in the mighty name of Jesus. God will shine the light on that situation and you will know just why in the mighty name of Jesus. He said it and this he will do. He said the secret that have been kept, the things that have been kept in secret, he says I will make them known unto you. You see Colossians 2, 3 says, In whom all the secret stores of wisdom and knowledge are with. Dear child of God, every secret they are, God knows about them. They may have been kept as a secret, yes, but don't worry. God knows about every secret. And he's saying to you, he's going to give you clarity. Everything that you don't understand, he's saying to you, I'll make you understand them. Everything that you seem not to be able to have, dear child of God, everything that you seem not to be able to understand, God is saying, I'll make them known to you, I'll make them clear to you, the things that you are going through. You will know why you are going through them, dear child of God. Trust in God. Believe in God. Believe in the God who said is going to make all things known to you. He said, call to me and I would answer. This is the word of God. In Jeremiah 33 verse 3, he says, call to me and I would answer you. And he said, after he had answered you, he will show you. He said what? He will show you. He will show you great and mighty things that you know not of. Dear child of God, as you call to him, he will show you. He will show you secret. He will show you things that may have been kept from you for a long time. He will give you clarity. He will cause you to understand the situations that you have been going through. He will cause you to understand why you are going on that path that you are going through, dear child of God. Remember the word of God has stated that all things are working together for good to them that love God. It may not make sense right now, but I want you to know it is working for your good. And God will give you all the clarity that you need in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, have you been afflicted? Yes, have you been going through some situations that is about to break you or to destroy you? Don't worry, something, something, something is in it. And God will make them known to you in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, God made known to Joseph at the end of the day that this is why I took you through this journey. And Joseph would say to his brothers, you meant it for evil, but God had had great plans. Yes, he had good plans out of it that he may save a lot of people. But you see, when Joseph was locked up in prison, when he was lied upon, when he was sold into slavery, all of these things may not have been making sense to him. But God gave him clarity at the end of the day when he saw the rest, when he saw how God brought him to the place of his victories when he saw how God accomplished everything he said he was going to do in his life. Then he began to understand everything that was behind it. He began to understand the reason why God took him through those journey. He said God took him there. God took him through it so that he could save many people. Dear child of God, you will get clarity. You will get the light today in the name of Jesus. You will know everything. You will know everything that you need to know 
in the name of Jesus. You see the word of God in Hebrews 10 verse 32 says, But call to remembrance the former days in which after you were illuminated, it says, you endured a great fight of affliction. It was saying, after you got the enlightenment, after you saw the light, after you got the understanding you needed to get, then you understood the reason behind the troubles. Then you understood the reason behind the affliction. Then you knew why you needed to endure. Dear child of God, don't give up easily. He says, how after you were enlightened, you endured a hard and painful struggle. Yes, he said, after they received the enlightenment, after they had the understanding, after they knew the reason why they were going through what they were going through, he said very clear, then they received the strength and the might to endure, to fight, to go through the painful struggle. Dear child of God, today God will give you clarity. God will give you understanding. And that situation, yes, you will know why you are in it. And the testimony you are supposed to have, dear child of God, I want to assure you, you are going to have it at the end of the day in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm sure it didn't make so much sense for Joseph to be suffering. But at the end of the day, he was able to be grateful. Dear child of God, I want to assure you, you will be grateful of everything. Because God who knows all secrets, who keeps all secrets, who knows all situations, who knows everything we go through, who knows why we are going through them, he will make known to you all the things that you need to know. Sometimes, when you are in the face of some situations and you seem not to be able to understand, and you seem not to be able to get it, and you are there and then it's not making sense to you, dear child of God, go to God. Go to the one who said, call to me. And he said, I would answer you. And he said, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to make you know. I'm going to make it known to you. I'm going to show you all the things that you need to know. All the things you need to understand about the situations that you have found yourself. Dear child of God, you may be going through a lot of things. But you see, the Lord is saying to you, nothing you are going through in life is without purpose, my God. So the word of God in Galatians 3 verse 4 says, Did you undergo such a number of things to no purpose? It says, to no purpose. If it is in fact to no purpose, it says, you didn't go through all the things you went through without a purpose. And that is because God had a plan. God had something. It was working out. You see, sometimes if God would explain to us every of the details of the journey, we would not want to go through that journey. Dear child of God, this is the truth. When God explains to you and shows you everything, you may have to go through the pains, the struggles you may have to endure. Yes, you may not want to go through that journey. And sometimes, it would only show you the destination. It will show you the outcome of things. It will show you where you are getting to. And then, it will take you through the journey. I pray that God would help you. That the journeys you are going through right now, the things you are on right now, that seem to be heavy on you, that is about to break you, dear child of God. I pray for you that God will give you the strength to be able to go through it. And all the things, yes, the things in secret that you need to know. The knowledge you need to have that will keep you sustained, God will make it known to you in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, Jesus went through a lot. Jesus went through some pains in his life. Jesus went through some heaviness. But you see, these things were known, were clearly known of the Father. So he will cry to God and say to God, If this cup would pass me by, let it pass me by. You see, the Father who knows everything did not respond. He allowed him to go through. And today, he is sitting exalted at the right hand of the Father, their child of God. But when he was going through the process, it was difficult. When he was carrying the cross, it was difficult. Dear child of God, I want to assure you, you may be carrying the cross right now. Yes, the cross of your destiny, the cross of the things that God has said is going to make happen in your life. You may be going through a lot, but I want to assure you at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you will testify. You will testify because the Lord took you to where you were supposed to get to. The Lord took you to your destination. The Lord settled you in the place you were supposed to be settled in. Dear child of God, please believe God. Believe the promises of God. Believe the instructions of God. Believe everything that God has said is going to do. And I want to assure you, He will do them. 
It may not make so much sense to you right now, but God knows all secret. He knows everything. He knows every single thing and he will make them known to you. He will give you clarity and at the end of the day, you would have every reason to rejoice that the Lord brought you to your place of rest. That the Lord accomplished everything, yes, the things he had purpose in, he made sure he brought you to the place of rest and your testimonies, your joy have been full as well. In Jesus' mighty name, it shall be so. It shall be settled in the name of Jesus. And God will cause his face to shine upon you and he will be gracious unto you. Yes, he will be gracious unto you until you achieve all his full purpose on the earth in Jesus' mighty name. It may not make sense to you, dear child of God, but God knows about it. It may look as though it is secret, dear child of God, but God knows about it and will make it known to you. He will make it clear to you and will give you the grace to endure till the very end in Jesus' name. Until you obtain the crown, until you receive the blessings you are supposed to receive. You will not faint, you will not tire out, you will not stop on the journeys. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.